Hey, hey, saving my coin budget friends. It's your girl Shalisha and in today's video, we are going to do my monthly budget for June. So if you like budgeting videos, cash stuffing, sinking funds, single mother finances on a low income, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe bell so you do not miss the time when I post. If this is your first time seeing my video, hey, thank you so much for clicking on it. If you're a returning subscriber and oldie but goodie, hey, hey, thank you so much for coming on back. All right, guys, so we are going to map out my monthly calendar for my monthly budget, and then we are gonna go ahead and get into these finances. I cannot believe we are halfway through the year. What in the world? Where did time go? So, so guys, let me know, how was your Memorial Day? Did you have the day off? Did you have to work? Uh, did you request the day off? Let me know in the comment section down below. It is currently Memorial Day when I'm filming this. So I am off today and I'm hoping that I can just get a lot of content done and recorded with this day off. I have a load of laundry going. Hopefully I can get it folded. That's the worst part that I hate about laundry. Um, and that's about it. Let me know how is your world going? How are the kids? Are they out of school yet? My daughter has four days of school left. They went an extra week um, longer than they typically do. They're usually out the uh, weekend right before Labor or Memorial Day. So I don't know what's going on this year, but uh, she gets out in four days. So she is excited. She has already told me that she's not gonna do <laughs> she's not gonna do anything, but little does she know, Mama already has these workbooks. We are going to still keep her engaged with school and learning and becoming you know her best self to get ready for third grade so we went ahead and we have uh, numbered our calendar and I'm gonna have I'm gonna zoom in so I can put down my paydays and then when all of my bills are due All right, guys, so we went ahead and we have laid out my monthly calendar. So as you can see, I do use the highlighter method for my budget by paycheck method. So I budget out each paycheck and then I decide which bills I am going to pay with that paycheck. So my first paycheck of June is going to be on June 9th. So I'm paying all the bills from the 9th through the day before my next bill, which is going to be the 22nd. And then on the 20 third when I receive my next paycheck I'll be paying all of the bills up and through my next paycheck which will be sometime in July so we um have went ahead and laid it out the bills don't change too much so I have my mortgage HOA my water bill is due this month I have my Ulta credit card Walmart credit card Spotify Target State Farm Comet Discover NICOR gas phone bill uh, Peacock as well as I have my mortgage and HOA for July 1st and I think I am missing uh, What am I missing uh, my internet my AT&T internet? There we go And then of course I always have some goals for myself and for my business so I have uh, for July, I'm sorry, July, why do I keep saying July, y'all? June 1st through June 10th, um, I am going to have a 30% off my planners. So it's a physical copy uh, that I work in or a PDF that you are able to print at home, as well as um, there is going to be a discount on my savings challenges. So pretty in pink, boldly blue, green with savings, uh, yellow, or is it sunshine yellow? So all of the colored um, savings challenges are going to have a sale and I am going to put them on my community page as well as all of my socials. So if you do not follow me on Instagram, my Facebook page, um, TikTok, or you are not subscribed to YouTube, go ahead and follow me. All the links are in my description box down below. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this monthly budget. And we are just going to chit chat, y'all. Where did the pan go? There we go. All right, so like I said in my last video where I explained a monthly budget, if you're like, sis, what are you talking about? I'll link it up in the clouds above. So I am budgeting my income for the month. So that is going to be my two paychecks. So I'm going to budget $1,300. 
I always under budget my income just in case something happens. If I need to take off some time and I don't want to use uh, sick time or I don't want to use vacation time, whatever the case may be, uh, I always under budget my income because something can happen. So we are going to be budgeting $2,600 for the month. And all I'm going to do is just take the average amount of what these bills are going to be. So all of the bills that we have listed out here, and we are going to put them here to have a plan on how we are going to pay them or what the plan is going to be. All right guys, so we have went ahead and we have laid out all of our bills and responsibilities. Um, so we are gonna go ahead and see what our budget is looking like. I did not include savings challenges, sinking funds, um, and putting additional money towards groceries. So we are going to see what, if anything, is left and come up with the numbers for those other categories. But guys, let me know. We are halfway through the year. How has budgeting been going? Are you reaching your goals that you set for yourself? in january have you hit a snag with you know life being life let me know what is the journey that you're currently on when it comes to your finances are you having to start over are you having to pivot and change amounts that you're cash stuffing or you, do you even have the ability to cash stuff are you reaching your uh savings goals for christmas or the holidays that you celebrate let me know what's going on in your world financially are you prepared for summer break? Y'all, this always happens. I don't understand. I just hit the enter button and everything goes away. Take two. All right, y'all, that took a lot of takes uh, for me to get <laughs> our total amount. So our amount that we budgeted was $2,600 and all of our expenses was $2,094. So that left us with $306, which included my cash envelopes, which is 120. You guys know that grocery is a new category for me. So I am putting additional money into that until I can come up with like a concrete amount. So I know what a good budgeting amount is for me and my daughter. And she's eight years old and it's summer break. So she's going to be eating like 75 times. I asked her to bring her school stomach, but I'm sure that's not going to happen. So uh from this 306 minus the 115 that i'm going to budget additional that leaves us with 191 dollars which is what we're going to put into our savings challenges and our cash envelopes so we have for our savings challenges we're going to be putting a hundred and twenty dollars into our savings challenges and the savings challenges are going towards Christmas as well as my emergency fund so that is just what's going to be split between the two and then we also have my sinking funds which again they're probably going to just be split between two binders probably not going to get all the binders done but that's okay so that's gonna leave us with $71 going into our sinking funds so Again, this is just a budget. I under budget my income, I over budget my bills. I would just like to know that all of my bills are going to be paid um, with this income. So if I do receive additional money from my business or if I do side hustles of selling my coupon bundles or coupons as being a coupon fairy, then I know that all of my four walls are taken care of and I can reinvest that money into something else. If for whatever reason this number changes, then I know that the additional money that I make or potentially could make needs to actually go back into my living expenses. So yes, go ahead and do the work, but it's going to cover something else in your life. But this is how I laid out my monthly budget. I will come in and I will do a recap towards the end of June to see how much we actually brought in as well as recapping all of the bills and our plans towards savings and sinking funds. So if you have any questions about my monthly budget or the budgeting video that I did that's gonna be linked up in the clouds above, do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Be blessed, bye.